Hey guys, Rob here at Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to my Beyond Soul series, Season 2, Episode 8. And guess what? Yesterday, they officially launched the game. It is now officially out of early access and is officially version 1.0. That is super exciting. And with that comes a really, really big thing, and I know I've been talking about it for a while, but today, we finally get a chance to do like actually see this stuff well hopefully i get to see this stuff my goal to this today is actually to actually own and have a dreadnought fly on my wing so that we can destroy a city i don't know how easy that's gonna be oh oh ah we're starting with ah, radar stations under attack right away okay well we'll go deal with that <laughs> uh that's okay and then we're gonna come back to the base and we're gonna take a look at those dreadnoughts because man um, I've heard, I've heard that they're going to be big and they're going to be scary and one dreadnought, you know, flying when your wing is going to take, well, I think they're, they're, they take up like 12 hangar space, like a lot of hangar space. So in other words, right now we have a total of, uh, 20 hangar space, like just for my fleet. So I have 20, 20 command points for my fleet and I can only have five ships. Now imagine if 12 points of that is one, one massive dreadnought. So that's the case. Oh wow, just, just pirates. Just pirates at this point. Really not much of a threat at this point. <laughs> All right, so we'll just take care of these guys and then we will head back to the base and we'll do some reading and try and figure out uh, what kind of dreadnought that we want to fly. Or not fly, but fly with us because you can't actually fly the dreadnoughts yourself. They're actually, they're, they're, they're ships that fly on your wing. Now, I don't know if you can have them in the military stations or not. I don't think so. Well, at least from what I... What, what I read that you're not going to be able to have them in your military stations, but maybe as reserve in your base? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. 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 Okay, so let's go back. All right. Yeah, something. Yeah, I hope they actually heard my request the other day so that uh, eventually I'd like to have a button so that I can just hit, hit it and go home, right? Rather than having to go back to the map and click on my home and stuff and then having to it's, it's just a lot of steps all right so what's going on here so uh veterinary garage declared war oh veterinary garage actually they're very close to us too lots of people everybody go oh no new singapore no and new singapore okay so here's the situation here in case you're just tuning in we're we have been sort of at war with schwartzburg for a while we have took over some of their territory which is really good we've kind of limited them economically um, which is great, and we destroyed what uh, two other factions so far in this particular game, and eventually we're probably going to have to take care of Cassadine and, of course, Bastille. Those are guys that are probably going to have to go pretty quickly. Um, but in order to do that, of course, I want Dreadnoughts, because it takes forever to destroy cities without any more firepower than, like, we haven't had enough firepower to be able to do this. So let's take a look at what we can build now. Oh, so here they are. Console. Okay, so this is the Tekla version of the Dreadnought. I'm assuming they're all very different. So Tekla Corporation, level one. This moving fortress has devastating firepower that can obliterate entire cities. It takes an entire fleet to get through its massive shields and equipped with an array of plasma bolts and chrono rockets. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. And it is well suited to handle any ships that get too close. I like rockets. I like tracking weapons. So that's actually a really good candidate. So maximum one per fleet cannot be garrisoned at military stations. So I was right about that. But can you put them in your base? I bet you can. Um, cannot be. Uh, so requires Tekla Corporation 4, which is going to be expensive on its own. 100,000 for the ship itself. Wow. Maintenance 2,400. Wow. <laughs> hangar space 12. I kind of knew that. So it'll take up 12 hangar space in the city or 12 hangar space in on my wing. Yikes. Um, hull 960, shields 1920, DPS 36. So what to compare that to like the Chimera? DPS on a Chimera is 10.8. So it's three over three times the amount of firepower that a Chimera, level three Chimera has. A level one, yeah. So that's that's a lot. Range long because it's got all uh, targeted targeting weapons or uh, ah, tracking weapons. Accuracy medium. Behavior stationary. So I guess it just sits there, okay. But if it has lots of shields, like. Does it show 960 shields? For example, I have two, 201, and I'm, you know, I'm in the battleship, which is a pretty beefy ship. So I'm going to go through these because I think this is important. Um, and then we have the Cryos Corporation. Cryos, uh, it is, I'm just looking for the differences here. So let's read it. The massive ship is a feared juggernaut that can obliterate entire fleets and cities within minutes. It has a perfect balance of hull and shields. Okay, giving it no defensive weaknesses, combined with a dual antimatter beams and shredder rounds. Oh, kind of short range, eh? It can handle any situation. So, uh, maintenance, same price. Uh, hull's a little bit different than the Exeter. 
Uh, shields, wow, way more shields than hull, actually. Tons more. But it is only medium range. I would even say it's even shorter than that. Uh, Antimatter and Shredder are pretty short. And so, yeah, different behavior. So, yeah, it doesn't move, though. Interesting. And Exeter, this is the uh, Manticore Dreadnought. The largest, off ooh, largest offering from the Exeter Corporation. Looks nice. Look at the picture. Oh, it looks really nice. Um... <laughs> Sorry, this Dreadnought is nearly one kilometer long and spares no expense in terms of firepower. With a multitude of long-range plasma torpedoes and homing missiles, this deadly juggernaut can devastate entire fleets and cities. Oh, okay, so lots of hull. Same shields as the Tekla. Lots of hull, though. DPS 36, uh, range long. So what, what? Plasma torpedoes and homing missiles. Oh, okay, so Tekla, sorry, was Tekla was plasma bolts and chrono rockets. Oh, so they're like dumb fire weapons? I don't know. I... I no, chrono plasma bolts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's this this weapon here. Plasma bolts. The chrono rockets. I, I don't know. Can I even use chrono rockets? I don't know. Maybe that's a Kraus weapon. I don't know. But anyway, I, I'm really interested. Hold on. Just Tekla. So Tekla has lots of shields. Exeter has lots of hull. And Kraus is kind of a balance between them. And it's medium, medium ranges. I really like the tracking torp plasma torpedoes and homing missiles. That's right up my alley. I may do Exeter. I think Exeter is sort of for me, and I like, you know, I'd rather have lots of shields, though. Man, I don't know. It's kind of a toss-up. Oh, well, but anyway, we're, we're going to have to do a lot of missions. So, uh, we're probably, well, we've got, we've got, uh, I can't even tell. What have I got here? That is the Tekla Corporation. So, yeah, I, I do like the Tekla. I think we're probably going to go Tekla here because I like shields. And I'm okay with plasma bolts and chrono rockets. I'm okay with that. It is, uh... Yeah, and it's long range. Yep, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do Tekla Corporation. Besides that, we already have the building here, so I think that works out great. So we need to get this up to level 4. So next level, 16,000. No problem whatsoever. You can do that. And the next level is 32,000, but we have all the materials. We can do it. Can we actually make level 4? Dun, 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 dun. No. <laughs> wow! 160 titanium and 120 uranium. We're almost there, though. Thorium shouldn't be a problem. And a lot of money. <laughs> so uh, let's just take a look at... Uh, so right, Oh, we need, some uh, we need some population here, too, as well. So let's get that going. We're re really going to have to beef up the city and increase our income in order to make the money to, to buy these silly things. Uh, let's close that and maybe do a couple upgrades if we can. I know I have, a, or I have, thought I had a lot of minerals. I guess I don't. I don't have as much as I thought I had. Uh, we just used up a ton of minerals. That's what the issue is here. So let's just uh, put all this into the city here and we'll just take inventory. So yeah, titanium is a big one. Maybe we should go upgrade our titanium mines. But I think what we're just going to have to do some missions first for a while. Oh, okay. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do some missions and, uh, you know, various stuff in the universe here. Just collecting comets and all that kind of good stuff. And there's no point in torturing you guys because uh, I know you've seen a lot of that kind of stuff already. So I will just uh, skip ahead and I'll meet you when I get back and I've, I'm rich again. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Okay, as I suspected, of course, Schwartzberg decided they're going to declare war on me. I actually have been doing a couple missions for them, hoping that they would kind of ease off so that we'd have enough time to build up, uh, of course, our fleet with our new dreadnought. But we just didn't have the time, and I just happened to be in my freighter, so we're going to go intercept them. <laughs> ah, they're attacking our military base. What have they got now? They've got uh, 19 reserve, 20 garrison, so not, not a huge amount of ships. Enough to be a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, I don't like fighting in the freighter, of course, because, well, that's always dangerous. <laughs> but on the other side of it, I can carry a lot of stuff like that. Ooh, look at this. I've got a pretty, de I've got a pretty decent fleet, like a nice mixed bag of ships. I've got the the fast runner ships, like these uh, these phantoms, which are fantastic. I really like them. And then, of course, the heavy hitting chimeras, which are always good, right? Okay, so I guess. <sighs> <laughs> um, I guess, you know what? I'm probably not going to do anything fast. I just wanted to, you know, kind of give me an update. I'm at war! And I'm going to go... Yeah, see, I, I went and I, I... There was a pirate base here. I destroyed that. Placed the radar station. I upgraded the titanium mine to level 3. So we're actually not that far away from being uh, able to plant down that... Uh, the Tekla, Tekla Corporation building 4. Like, to upgrade that to level 4. Um, actually, all we need is just like 10,000 more bucks. The problem is um, I need to put down some city population and stuff, so we're not going to be able to build that right away. But I just wanted to give you an update. Be right back. Okay, so I've been messing around here. Of course, <laughs> Schwartzburg, what's interesting is that 
Schwarzburg owned these two territories and I decided well you know I'm just gonna push them back I'm gonna take over these two territories so I destroyed those radar stations and all of a sudden they're like honestly it brought down the relationship down to hostile like they were angry with us before that the reason it reduced it so much is because um all of the like they were mad that they had adjacent borders with all of these areas as soon as I took these areas they weren't nearly as mad at us so <laughs> um but we've almost uh pushed them into retreating and pushing back or or from you know suing for peace again um but what's important here now is that i made enough money to be able to upgrade our tech corporation to level four which is really exciting so i'm going to do that 160 titanium 120 uranium 120 thorium and 64,000 bucks and that's a lot of money Ooh, achievement unlocked tech tech so now that means um well we still need a few more bucks but i think we should be able to buy might be able to might have to sell a little bit of uh material but yeah we can upgrade oh, how much is it to upgrade this thing Two hundred thousand bucks to upgrade the dreadnought i'm not gonna do that i well i'm gonna do that but not right now i just want to get one in in the fleet so first off we need to move all of our ships that yeah let's just put everything into uh into reserve here <laughs> and uh let's sell i could wait yeah well we'll just sell whatever we've got that's excess we've got lots of palladium uh, thorium, really good price for thorium. We'll sell some of that, sell some of that. Boom, we've got enough money, so let's do it. Let's buy it. Our first dreadnought, so exciting. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, there it is. Ooh, it's pretty. It's actually uh, smaller than I thought it was going to be, but it is very pretty. Look at that. Console dreadnought. <laughs> now, that used up uh, a lot of my fleet, so let's uh, we can put a chimera in there. Yeah, can we put... Uh, we could technically put two chimeras and the console. Oh, I loves it. I loves it. Oh, we are broke. Um, but that's, oh, I need to, ah, let's add a, we, I've been steadily upgrading my, ba upgrading my city, you know, as, as time goes on. Oh, not enough titanium. Ah, uh, let's buy whatever we need. Yeah, we don't need very much. I uh, will just uh, buy a handful here. Oh, yes. And then we're going to go test it out because somebody, they're attacking. Schwartzburg is attacking our one of our uh, radar stations right now. What a perfect time. They don't know that we have just... Oh, man. That's not enough. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. We're, we're fine. Oh, yeah. That's, that's perfectly fine. Okay. So let's go test out the console. Very cool. Neat, neat, neat. Okay. Uh, away we go. I like this button. This button's easy. The set course button. That's why we need one so that we can go home with a button that easily. All right, here we go, and me, the console, and one chimera. We're off, oh, two chimeras off to go battle and defend our little radar station. So we'll see how this goes. They only have, well, they have a fleet of 12, so it's possibly three chimeras kind of thing. <laughs> Interesting. Um, it's, yeah, it's, like I said, it's smaller than what I expected. I expected it to be a fairly big ship, but no. And this one, this is the one with balanced... No, this one has the uh, the really big shields, right? That's and the long range weapons. That's right. There it goes. Wow. Kind of made short work. Wow. Look at that sucker. Okay, we're gonna test it against, of course, the city. Yeah, that didn't take very long, did it? <laughs> um, that was really quick. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go into their their city now. They're almost ready, like I said, to sue for peace. So, uh, this won't take long before they've decided, well, it's not worth fighting. So let's, we're heading for the city. Jump, jump, jump. Everybody's at full here. <laughs> oh, they, now we're gonna refuse the first offer. Always go for the second offer. Don't go for the first one. Yeah. I don't know if, I don't know if they give you more money on the second one, but, uh, they're a little bit more desperate. <laughs> here we go. Destroy some of that, uh, some of the defenses here. So this is a city killer. These are city killers, these things. Wow, look at him go. Tear it apart, man. I'm just kind of watching him. Look at him. Yeah. Whoops. Oh, hit the wrong button. <laughs> it happens. So yeah, defenses. Wow, just like that. Defense is down. Uh, so yeah, you don't need much else. You get one of those dreadnoughts. Look at him just chew apart the city. This is awesome, man. Okay, destroy some of these ships. This, this would be it for Schwartzburg defenses. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, he's... Look at him. He's still... Oh, we lost a Chimera, but he's barely dented. 
Um, I'm not surprised that a Chimera went down. So, you know, it takes, you know, you've got a, a little bit of uh, city defense to start going after your ships, and of course, uh, they will go down pretty quickly. Unless you're a, now, oh, you can only have one per, per fleet. So now I wonder, could you have, it says only one red, only one of these, con like only one console per, per fleet, but can I have, uh, uh, dreadnoughts from different factions, I wonder? Probably not. I, I probably misread it. It's probably only one dreadnought per fleet, period. But wow, yeah, look at the damage we're doing here. This is this is insane. Like, wow. I'm surprised I haven't asked for peace yet. Actually, quite surprising. <laughs> um, by the time they ask for peace, like, we, we will have torn apart their city pretty dramatically. Like, there's... Wow, this really... this We're knocking it back to the Stone Age here. This is crazy. Yeah, this is it. We're going to be able to clean up now. Um, you don't... Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. Uh, we accept your surrender. That was brilliant. We actually did a serious number. We did lose a couple chimeras, though. Um, fortunately, the money that they gave us to uh, stop attacking <laughs> did compensate us for that. So that's all right. Um, and it was a good chance to sort of just, and he went, he didn't even make it, he was down to about three quarter shields, like he did, he seems very survivable, these things are very survivable. Fortunately, the Chimera is not so much. <laughs> well, I guess we're full up, alright, let's go back. That was super fun. Okay, so now I think we could probably start to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, it is, it could get expensive, you know, I don't like having disposable ships in my fleet, so I want to read up again. Um, I want to know if I can have more than one Dreadnought in my fleet. So, in other words, Dreadnoughts from different factions. So, could I have a console as well as, uh, you know, like the, uh, <laughs> the, the, uh, the name of, I don't remember the names of the other ships, but could I have Dreadnoughts from other factions with my fleet? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out here. I'm just going to read it carefully. I, it would be, it would seem a little overpowered. If I could have three Dreadnoughts in my fleet, that would be pretty crazy. But it would be also very cool. <laughs> And if you're playing against uh, people, like if people were doing that, oh man, that would, what fights that would be. All right, Doc. And of course you'd have, you know, your Dreadnoughts. I mean, if you're fighting three Dreadnoughts and they all targeted you, you're toast, right? Okay, so I just want to read this uh, a little bit more carefully. So maximum one per fleet. So theoretically we could have three Dreadnoughts in our fleet, but I'd have to upgrade the Cryos, upgrade the, uh, upgrade the Cryos, upgrade the Exeter, and of course have my upgraded Tekla, and I could have, theoretically, have three Dreadnoughts in my fleet. Oh my god, could you imagine? Now, I would need 24, 36 hangar points, which, hey, we could do that. We could totally do that. Now, let's grab a couple more of my fleet ships. <laughs> they kind of died. Whoops. Um, that's okay. We're going to upgrade our hangar system, too, as well. Uh, actually, do we have enough now to upgrade our population? Yes, we do. Okay, and our hangers. Um, th I think that's going to be just as expensive to get, you know, as many hangers as we're going to need um, to have, you know, like this only brings us up to 22. Th we're going to have to just totally add on a bunch of hangers too as well. Let's just see here. And that's, you see, the hangers are a bit of a problem because it requires so much space. Well, that'll work out okay. And then we could put the other corporation. Uh, what do we need? So we've got, we've got Tekla. Hold on. Ah, silly thing. So yeah, we've got we've got Tekla Corporation maxed out. We've got the Cryos Corporation. Now we just need Exeter. So let's do that. Let's add a Exeter. I'm doing this, man. I want it. I want a. Oh, I guess it's not enough room to. Oh man, it's starting to get a little awkward. I guess we could put uh, the Exeter right here. There we go. Perfect. And uh, yeah, it's going to get expensive. Like we're talking like another 400,000 bucks to make this happen, but we can do it. We can totally do it. Okay. So I've been doing some thinking actually as I play here. Uh, now we've, I've made a whole bunch of money and, and of course I've been just gathering minerals, just doing missions and stuff. So I've decided rather than go after Schwartzburg or even Cassadine, um, notice now we're at uh, 282. Our, our population is 282. We're actually growing pretty substantial. We've got a healthy income. Oh, I'm not going to go for these little guys. We want to go for the big boy on, on the battlefield. And that happens. To, I'm going to pause it here. That happens to be Bastille. And Bastille is currently at war with somebody. I'm not sure who they're at war with. But if you notice here, I know it's hard to see because it's, it's grayed out because we're paused. But if you notice here, they actually don't have radar stations anywhere along here. So all we have to do to open up all this territory, including this titanium mine 
is to destroy this one military station. Now it's it's a it's a level two, but being that they're already under attack by somebody, it shouldn't be that hard to take. And uh, I know, and they've been at war constantly, so they've they've got diminished resources. In other words, they don't have as many uh, ships in reserve and stuff too. As well, I think we need to go for them. And we're gonna test out. Um, we're also gonna grab. I think what we're gonna do is we're also gonna grab. Uh, let's grab a the Guardian too as well. The Guardian is the uh, the ship that transfers shields. Uh, so it doesn't have any firepower of its own, but it transfers shields as well. I've been massively upgrading our uh, hangar space so that we can have a massive fleet. Well, I mean, it's massive in the sense that we've got a Dreadnought with us too as well, but I also have more ships than we ever had. So this should be really interesting. We have, what, six ships with us now, including one Dreadnought and a Guardian. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go after Bastille. So, I think what we'll do actually, uh, let's see, how many ships do they have in reserve? Oh, they actually have a lot more than I expected. So we're gonna go after their titanium mine first, because I want this mine as well. <laughs> and then as soon as we destroy this military station, we're gonna plant our own military station, like, I don't know, I like right in here somewhere. And then, of course, take just take over this whole territory and get these titanium mines. That's one thing I'm finding that we're short of all the time is titanium. So, you know, let's not uh, waste that time. Let's just go for it. All right, let's go to war with Bastille. Now, they're going to be like, what? <laughs> they're actually quite neutral with us. Uh, sorry, dude. Oh, uh, they have enemies. <laughs> there we go. This could be interesting. They do. Ha I've never fought them in this particular game. I have no idea what kind of ships they have. Um, I haven't done any research. Um, you know, I, it's been a long time since, since I've done something really stupid, so I figured it, I, we're about due. <laughs> we're about to see. Oh, uh, look at what we're just with this dreadnought. Man, look at those torpedoes. Man, that looks so cool. Look at that. So they, I, I don't know if they have a specific city killing weapon, but it sure looks like they do, right? Okay, here comes the bad guys. Yeah, I don't know what kind of ships they have here, but we're about to find out. Chimeras! Only level 2 Chimeras? Oh man, you guys, oh, you, this is not going to go well for you. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just going to kill your Chimeras then. And Vanguards. Ah, uh, yeah, no problem. Now, the Vanguards are a little faster. Might be a little bit of a problem because most of my fleet is pretty slow for the most part. But yeah, that's that's okay. I think, I think we pretty much got this. Now, we'll finish that off finish the mining station off look at it oh yeah just like that and that was a level two mining station it went down pretty fast we didn't take any any casualties whatsoever very nice very very nice actually uh oh um they might be attacking us now actually okay hold on uh yes they hate us um we are now at war with guang feng oh they were allied with guang feng see i told you i hadn't done these st things stupid for a while um Okay, so they're probably going to go after us pretty hard. Let's see if we can take out this station, like, right now. <laughs> if we can take that out right away, that uh, that would be pretty awesome. Yeah, we didn't make any friends with them. They are allied with, uh, with Bastille. Trade treaty with Bastille, not actually allied. Oh, no, yeah, they are allied too as well. My bad. Okay, let's see if we can do this. I guess we should take out the, uh, the ships first. But that, we have the Guardian ship. The Guardian ship will do... Whoa! Dreadnought just took a lot of damage. Uh-oh. Uh, it's a little too expensive just to lose. So I think we should get ready to bail out if necessary. Wow, what hit it? Something hit that Dreadnought really hard. Wow. Um, where's the Guardian? Is Guardian dead? No, it looks like the Guardian's still alive, so... Weird. I wonder what hit it. They must have had... I don't know, they must have had something... All the ships must have targeted... Uh-oh, yeah, this is this is not good, guys. This is not good at all. Okay, so, uh, we're jumping. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, just hold out a little bit longer. We did not lose any ships! We did not lose one ship! Wow. Wow, he got hit so hard! The Guardian ship just got blasted! Okay, but we did a lot of damage to that military station. 
And one more. Uh oh, yeah, we're yeah. Let's just do a quick repair and then go defend. Go defend our thorium mine. Yeah, we're probably gonna get hit a lot now, but that's okay. That's okay. I, you know, we've got the firepower. Let's do it. Okay, let's just quickly dock, <laughs> repair, unload. You know, all those things. Ah oh, man, whoops, hit the wrong button. <laughs> where's my ships? Oh, where's my big ship? He's gotta be here. He's here. <laughs> he is still alive, I'm pretty sure. All right, and this is gonna be an expensive repair. Ah, it's not bad. It could be worse. It could be way worse. Oh yeah, we've gotta actually sell some stuff here because we've got way too much stuff just lying around. Being that we're gonna be out battling for a while, might as well just clear out our holds here. <laughs> I might have bitten off more than I can chew again, but, you know, that's what I do. Undocking, let's go defend our base. Uh-oh, military sta- Oh, military station's under attack. Let's, let's go defend our military station first. There we go, everybody's pretty much repaired. There we go, awesome. 25 ships, all Bastille, and then we've got Guangfeng who's attacking. Uh, wasn't it Guangfeng that defeated us in the last big game that we had? I'm not sure, I don't remember. But uh, yeah, so we've got Bastille with 25 command points worth of ships. Could be interesting, but because uh, we're de defending with the military station goes easier, of course, because you've got the extra firepower from your juicy military station, of course. And these guys, it looks like they're only up to level two with a lot of their their ship designs, which is makes it a little bit. Oh, that's a guardian! Ah, okay, son of a. <laughs> Sitting there just, you know, repairing the shields and I'm ignoring him. That's funny. Whoops. Uh, ooh, sharp, right? Sharp, sharp. Ah, I can't pronounce it. Sharp, sharpness? Sharpness. Yeah, that went, that went well. Uh, they, uh, I will accept your surrender. Wow, that was fast. Is it because we, oh, it's because we did so much damage to that military station. Now, um, I don't know. Are they still attacking? Yeah, they're still attacking that. So let's go. <laughs> we didn't make any friends, and we started a great war. This seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot more interesting than the wars that we've had up to now. I needed something a little bit more exciting. I think I think that was the key. We needed a big, massive war against guys that are maybe a little bit tougher. Uh-oh, city hostile. Schwartzburg, of course, they're hostile. They're, they're always hostile with us. Whatever. Oh, border tensions. Whatever. Who cares? I don't even care about you anymore. Oh, no, they destroyed our... Ah, uh, little... Buggers, they destroyed our little thorium mine here. Are they still here? <laughs> nope, they took off, but that's okay. See, it's not really a big deal. It was only a level one mine, right? I mean, it's so easy to replace. Okay, and uh, yeah, and then we can actually <laughs> collect the goodies from the last one, maybe. There we go. Yeah, it's actually that actually worked out really well. <laughs> Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call that an episode. Wow, this was fun. We got to see this massively cool Dreadnought. I wonder if we can zoom in on this a little bit. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, uh, we can't really zoom in on the Dreadnought, unfortunately. Oh, man. Well, a little bit. It does, you know, I wish this, this was isometric because it does have, you know, that 3D... You know, it's got, it kind of looks a little bit Romulan on the inside and then on the, I don't know, very, very cool anyway. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We got to see Dreadnoughts, yay! And we got to uh, kind of test it out and it's only going to get messier in this game. Way messier. All right, take care.